Welcome to the VXD Preaction System Single Interlock Pneumatic Release Reset Scenario. In this scenario, we are looking at a paint kitchen where a fire has been extinguished and the area is safe to enter. Let's go through the steps of resetting a VXD Preaction System equipped with a Single Interlock Pneumatic Release. Let's start by closing the water supply control valve. Next, close the ball valve below the air maintenance device that leads to the dry pilot line. Then, close the ball valve below the air maintenance device that leads to the system piping. While this isn't required, we are going to silence the alarm panel. Press the silence button on the VFR500 release control panel. Now you will need to drain down the system, so let's open the main drain and wait for the system to drain. After the air pressure is released, the PS40 will send a signal to the VFR500 and the panel's buzzer will reactivate. This isn't required, but we are going to silence the panel once again. Press the silence button on the VFR500 release control panel. Once all the water has drained from the system, you can close the main drain. Before reintroducing air to the release line, you will need to repair or replace any detection devices that have been damaged and close any open drains. Next, we can start reintroducing air to the dry pilot line by opening the air bypass valve on the air maintenance device. Once the release line air pressure is within 5 psi of your target air pressure, close the air bypass valve and open the ball valve below the air maintenance device to finish filling the release system. After re-establishing air pressure in the dry pilot line, the pneumatic actuator will reset and allow the water pressure in the prime chamber to rebuild. Ensure that the system is drained prior to replacing any sprinklers that have operated or may have been exposed to excessive heat in the fire. We can now restore supervisory pressure to the sprinkler piping. To start reintroducing air to the sprinkler piping, open the air bypass valve on the air maintenance device. Once the sprinkler piping air pressure is within 5 psi of your target air pressure, close the air bypass valve and open the ball valve below the air maintenance device to finish filling the piping system. Once priming pressure is re-established in the priming chamber, slightly open the flow test valve. Then slightly open the water supply control valve. Once water flow has been established, close the flow test valve. Opening the flow test valve purges any air from the inlet chamber of the VXD valve. Now fully open the water supply control valve. After the system water pressure is restored, any alarm panels that were activated will need to be reset to clear any active alarms. Excellent, the system has been placed back in service. 